All right, guys, how's it going? Are you like me and you're like, don't cast? I still don't know what's going on. Let me just try and um, summarise something for you. Without going into it all again, um, I'd like this to be the last video about Ruben Amarim today, to be honest with you. I've had enough. Um, I believe, this is what I think, I think that we are just seeing it all being played out now, the, the final negotiations of a possible contract between Ruben Amarim and Liverpool. And if you've watched my videos today, you'll understand why I feel that is. You know, I said this towards the end of last week and at the weekend, how important it was at the weekend, the agent being uh, in Liverpool, a formal contract offer, non-negotiable and all that, get back to us after the weekend kind of thing. And boy, did they get back to Liverpool yesterday, I'll buy it publicly. Um, I think it's just, um, I think they're just, it's leverage. I think they're just trying to, trying to get a better deal. Uh, for Amarim and his uh, and his agent, and I think it's dangerous for them um, to be doing it as they are. Um, Liverpool now it, it's their move, right? So what I suspect we will see next is either a silence again, which to me would suggest Liverpool are willing to negotiate further, or we'll probably see a bit of a bombshell uh, in the next few days. Um, I think that we all have to wait for Born Again Joyce now to see if anything comes. I think if he continues to be silent, I think that would suggest that Ruben Amaran could be Anfield bound. But it wouldn't surprise me if he popped up with some claims very, very soon. Um, so we have to wait for him. I know that we watched David Ornstein and I know Ornstein came out and made some claims yesterday about Ruben Amaran. Touched on that in a video today. Um, but for me... I really want to see what Born Again Joyce has got to say. If you don't know who I mean, I mean Paul Joyce at the Times, who is born again since Edwards has come back to the club. Well, the organisation, however way you want to look at it. Um, there's a little bit of me, a little part of me, that thinks that with Edwards now being big cheese and not being the man supposedly running the club and doing the, you know, the, finding the hunt for the manager, uh, that Richard Hughes could be used as a, you know, they could chuck him under the train at some point and say, well, you got it wrong, didn't you? Has anyone else thought that? I've thought that. Um, but I don't know. That's, that's just me being naughty. There's no, there's no suggestion that that's the case at all. But it does offer a layer, a layer of protection, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, so I, I do think that everything, if you've watched all my videos today, especially, uh, I think... I think I've got it right with what's been going on with what I said at the end of last week or over the weekend and then what we've seen with the negotiations uh, being played out. And I think now, I think it's now Liverpool's move. And that's what you've got to look for now when it comes out next. So we've seen Amarim's move yesterday and the agent. What are Liverpool going to do now? So if Liverpool are going to fall into play and go, all right, we'll give you what you want. You're not going to hear anything. It'll go quiet again. But what you might see now is Liverpool fight back through Joyce, Ornstein, someone like that with some claim like Liverpool turn attentions to, uh, which could still mean they're interested in Amarim. So what did I say to you before the weekend? If you see something this week that's negative come out, and I think we had a negative day yesterday, don't just go, oh, that's that then. We've lost him. Because it's a game. It's still at the game point. So... I just get the feeling that we might see more of this this week, but from Liverpool's side now, all right? So Liverpool right now are going, what should we do? Should we give him it? Or should we tend to go and fuck himself? Do you know what I mean? That's what I think is going on now. So you put yourself in Liverpool's position. What would you do now? Serious question, guys. What would you do? You can see the other managerial candidates that are out there. So would you now go, right, we're withdrawing from Ruben Amarin, we're not interested, we are going to look at the other candidates end of, or would you try and create a smoke screen now and go, do you know what, let's fuck with them a little bit. Tell you who we're interested in, right? Liverpool have got to do it. It's a fucking game, it really is. It's worth, well, not billions, but millions, you know? So do Liverpool just go, do you know, I mean, I wish Liverpool would just go, do you know what, just, go, just fucking get it done. Uh, but there are things that have concerned me a little bit with Ruben Amarim. I'll be honest with you. And obviously, I would like him to be appointed manager of Liverpool Football Club. I said that back in January. If Alonso don't get it, I'd like him to be it. A few of us have got a couple of quid on it. But I'm not bothered about that. I couldn't give a fuck about that. Yeah, we all want to... I want you guys to win a few quid. I'd love it. 
But at the end of the day, we're Liverpool Football Club, and we can't be mugged off, guys. Even if you like these owners or not, we can't. We can never do that, ever. Uh, you know, I'm the sort of person in life, if anyone tries to screw me over, I'd rather lose everything and live in a cardboard box on the just on principle on the fucking street and never be beaten by anyone. So Liverpool Football Club, they've got to develop that attitude. They've got to hold to it, guys. It's not a case of just paying what he wants. No, fuck that. No, but I'm disappointed in Ruben Amarim. Yeah, all right. So, you know, Sporting might have had a couple of days off of training. If he wants to jump on a flight to England, that may be his business. But look at all the, the, the drama it's created. Liverpool won't like that circus, I can assure you right now. And imagine being a Sporting fan and your manager's doing all that and then landing back late with a big grin on your face, refusing to answer questions while you're caught up in a title race. Imagine being a player for him now. I'm like, ah, fuck, what a wanker. Nah. It's put me right off him a little bit, to be honest with you. But I'm willing to, you know, go with the, all right, it's part of the game, you know, and if he becomes manager, great. You know, fair, you know, fair enough. But I don't like stuff like that, mate. I don't. Um, so, uh, it's it's been... <laughs> I know some of you take the piss out of me when I say this, my friends, but this is my 26th year, all right, uh, with Cop Talk. And I can tell you right now, in those 26 years, I have never seen uh, a circus like this. And when I, what I mean by that is just journalists providing running commentary from the other side, uh, the drama, journalists putting out fucking the flight you know, details and just the amount of leaks and stuff. I, I've never seen anything like it. It feels really, really bad, uh, to be honest with you. And... I think that's a sign of what could come. And if you were Liverpool, you'd be thinking that, right? You'd be thinking, fucking hell. Imagine if things start going wrong. You know, we're going to have him, fucking Pedro de Parrot, over in Portugal, dropping everything left, right and centre. Ruben Amarum going, I don't know, I ain't said anything. His agent is clearly, uh, well, I was going to say can't be trusted. That might not be fair. And his agent, his job is to represent his client. And we know that the football clubs, managers, players, owners, everyone journalists, whatever, they all use the media to to get a message out sometimes that benefits them and, and so on. Um, that's part of the game. However, it just does seem to be a little bit too much. Uh, and like I say, in all them years, I, this is... I mean, I was literally laughing yesterday. I, I'm glad I was out yesterday, to be honest, because I don't know where I'd have put myself. I had time to think about it. Um, Pedro the Parrot... <laughs> It's a strange going on. So I think Liverpool Liverpool will hit back this week. That's what I think, guys. And if it goes wrong um, in the Merseyside derby, you know, people might not be fucking, uh, you know, people might be a bit touchy, you know what I mean, a bit touchy in that. So I might not want to be Ruben Amram at the minute because he might be about to get, do you know what I'm saying? So look and see what happens this week. Keep an eye on Bon again, Joyce. It's coming, guys, I'm telling you. And we will assess it when it comes out. And even if it's negative, don't flap, right? Don't be flapping like Pedro the Parrot. Uh, but don't flap because it could be part of the game. So if you see an article, for example, that says Liverpool end interest in Ruben Amarim, it doesn't necessarily mean that's true. And we know that Paul Joyce has done this before with high-profile uh, targets, transfer targets, Liverpool end interest in, and we've still gone on to sign them. So it could be just part of the bluff, but we'll assess it when it happens. But my opinion right now, my prediction is Liverpool are now thinking, right, what do we do? Maybe that's not rocket science. I'm not trying to pretend that I'm a know-it-all or anything. It's just what I think will happen. All right. So uh, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a quaffy or a beer, you can hit the super thanks button. Uh, read the video description, please. Uh, join the chat room. Join the newsletter. It's all free. Come and join us. We'd love to see you. Uh, uh, on one of those platforms. Okay, guys, take care. I've had enough. Uh, hopefully, you won't hear from me again today. Speak soon. Hooray.